Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about how to set up your servers and data layers so that you can view them with augmented reality from the good folks at Argus Solutions. I'm using their system and their Argus lens. Again, Argus Solutions. Good people and they're very supportive of educational aspects and implementation of really cutting edge geospatial technology. Okay, so what you do is, there's more documentation on the Argus site, but in brief, what you're going to do is you're going to add a server, and in that server, then you're going to add your layers. In my case, I've got some layers of data that are a combination of things that I've collected in the field with Survey123, in my case, trees, bicycle racks, recycling bins, parking bumpers, etc. that I've collected out in the field with Survey123. I went on to a school campus in this case and collected data layers from Survey123 and I've served them up into ArcGIS Online. I get the REST endpoint of my ArcGIS organization server and just taking a look at the points that I've collected, I've collected over 200 points on this particular campus, as you can see here, living and non-living, grasses, trees, shrubs, etc. But also, as you can see here, the human built environment. So benches, baseball diamond artifacts, etc., etc., light poles, signs, and so on. And I've mapped them in ArcGIS Online, so I can see what I've collected out in the field. For example, this sign right here. I've collected it again with Survey123 and my smartphone, an ordinary smartphone out in the field. And I've got 260 data points in my database at the moment. I want to be able to, I want to, be able to go out of the field and view those features in the augmented reality lens app from Argus Solutions, including, for example, this light pole near the campus and other features, as well as features that I've described in another video that I've actually determined what the REST endpoint is, parcels, accident data, storm drains, light pole fixtures, signs, and other things that the city and county in which this campus is located are mapped and therefore I can also look at those in the augmented reality Argus Lens app. So I've got a combination of things that I've collected and things that my local government agencies have collected. You too can do the same thing on a university, a community college, a tribal college, a technical college, or a school campus, or for that matter, even off of a campus. You can do it inside a city park or a place where you can go out in the field with your students and actually do this. So you're going to be able to set up these feature services using the Argus augmented reality app. Here's where it gets exciting folks. When you're in the field using the Argus lens app and you see the features that you've collected and also features that your local agencies have collected in the field as you're walking around it is like touching the future i'm not going to replicate all of the wonderful tutorials that the argus solutions folks have online but basically you're going to do these three things you're going to add servers you're going to create a data scene and you're going to be able to view those data scenes and you're going to be able to connect your argus lens app with these data scenes while you're out in the field so you can see it and this is what you're going to be able to see. Awesome. Thanks, and we'll see you out in the field.